Mesosphere. Today we are going to discuss about the third layer of the atmosphere that is mesosphere. So let's start. It is the third layer of the atmosphere. First layer is the troposphere. Second layer is the stratosphere. And the third layer is the mesosphere. This layer is just above the stratosphere and below the thermosphere. Meso means middle. Because it is the middle layer of the atmosphere, so its name is mesosphere. Characteristics of the mesosphere. What are the characteristics of the mesosphere? Let's see. Mesosphere extends from the top of the stratosphere to about 80 km or 50 miles above our surface means just after the stratosphere at the height of 80 km or 50 miles from the earth's surface we have mesosphere temperature of the mesosphere minus 5 degrees celsius to minus 93 degrees celsius temperature decreases with altitude means as we go higher in the mesosphere the air gets colder minus 93 degrees celsius we get the temperature at the mesosphere that's why students this layer is the coldest layer of the earth's atmosphere or we can also say that mesopause that is the boundary between the mesosphere and the thermosphere is the coldest place on earth students temperature in the mesosphere reaches up to minus 93 degrees celsius that shows it is the coldest place on earth some important facts about the mesosphere less denser than the stratosphere due to the thin layer of gases whereas as we have discussed before maximum concentration of gases are present in troposphere but as we go high concentration decreases a stratosphere has less concentration of gases than troposphere and at the mesosphere concentration is more less than troposphere and stratosphere so it is a less denser layer of the atmosphere and Aircrafts cannot fly high enough to reach the mesosphere. Mostly aircrafts fly in troposphere and they also fly in the stratosphere but they cannot fly in the mesosphere because they cannot reach to the that much height of the mesosphere, right? Mesosphere protects Earth's surface from being hit by most meteoroids. Students, meteoroids are actually like a rock in space they are also called shooting stars or falling stars. Actually, they don't have their own light, but they look like stars. Most of the meteorites are composed of rocks, silicates and metals. They move in a space and when they pass close to the earth's surface, they are easily attracted by earth's surface. Due to this, they enter into the earth's atmosphere. Moving from exosphere to the thermosphere, when they reach to the mesosphere, these particles burn up here. Actually, in mesosphere, they collide with air and gaseous molecules, and due to this collision, a friction produces. In simple words, we can say due to this collision, temperature of air and gaseous molecules increases. As a result of this so much energy, meteoroids get burned. Means they don't have their own light, but as a result of burning, these particles glow. That's why they are known as shooting stars or falling stars. But there is a question can be arise in your mind, why these particles don't burn up in thermosphere? The answer is that, because in thermosphere, gases concentration is very less to collide with meteoroids. But as they enter in mesosphere, they easily collide with gaseous molecules. Comparatively high concentration of gaseous molecules, so chances of collision increases. So it is the one of the advantages of the mesosphere that protects us from meteoroids. Now, what would happen if there is no mesosphere? I hope up till now you can give easily answer why would happen if there is no mesosphere. Actually, this layer is very important for Earth's protection. The mesosphere burns up most meteors and asteroids before they reach to the Earth's surface. So we can say that the presence of mesosphere is one of the great blessings for us. Students, it was all about mesosphere. In the next lecture, we will discuss about thermosphere. Till then, bye-bye.